no doubt about it, gunning for victory. The home side tonight, we're in North London, the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Bruno Guimaraes in central midfield. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A very good tackle. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Are they going to forge ahead? Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Trippier. Tonali with it. Wonderful chance. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Jorginho and he's gone into an illegal position unfortunately did well to win the ball back William Saliba and the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Trippier. Opportunity here. Well, such a high degree of difficulty. Not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Went in strongly to win the ball. And passing it through. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding. And then the strike from Saka. He never really looked like missing, did he? Brilliant finish. So the action continues, and it's up to the Magpies to wipe out that last goal. Guimaraes and teammates around him. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Marcinelli. So half-time, that will close the book on the first half here at the Emirates. So into the second half, can Newcastle battle back after that first 45? A spot on with that challenge. The cross is on. And stopping the danger. Saka. Ben White. And played in. And in the end, no damage done. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. Who can he pick out?
Rice. Opportunity here. Oh, a goal for Arsenal. It's theirs to lose now. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Sandro Tonali. Sven Botman. Oh, big chance! And he struck the post. Well, you can almost feel the goalkeeper's relief. Well, how close was that? The keeper can't believe he's clutching the ball here. Well, the woodwork has just denied them a three-goal lead here. But you just can't see them throwing this one away, can you? Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Can't miss, surely. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. The ball back with the Magpies now. Bruno Guimaraes. And on the ball is Cher. Sven Botman. Fabian Cher. Botman. And he's in. Big chance it is. There it is. Victory more or less guaranteed now. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Sandro Tonali. And on the ball is Cher. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Into the advanced position. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. So there goes the final whistle. It ends in a victory for Arsenal. Maximum points for them.